Hi, I'm Donna Wolf from Nastasia.com. Today I'll show you the diamond granny stitch crochet pattern, which looks nice on both sides. It's made by taking the easy double crochet traditional granny stitch pattern and making a series of color changes to create the diamonds. The granny stitch is a multiple of 3 plus 1, so I'm chaining a sample of 25. Double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. I now have two double crochet stitches, counting those skip chains. Then I make one more double crochet for a total of three double crochet stitches. Skip two chains, and in the next chain, make three double crochet stitches. One, two, and three. Skip two stitches, and in the next chain, make three double crochet stitches. One, two, and three. Continue with this pattern across the row. At the end of this row, you'll place your last three double crochet in the last chain. For row 2, we'll start with a chain 3, which always counts as a double crochet in this pattern. And in the next space, we'll make 3 double crochet stitches. 1, 2, and 3. And in the next space, make 3 more double crochet. In the next space, make three more double crochet stitches. Continue with this pattern across the row. At the end of this row, two, we'll just make one double crochet in the last stitch. Our ends will always match with this pattern. And for row three, we'll begin with a chain three. This time, make two more double crochet stitches in the adjacent space for a total of three double crochet stitches. And then we make three double crochet stitches in the next space. And continue with three double crochet in each space across. At the end, we'll make our three double crochet stitches in the last space on this row. And you can see how this row begins and ends the same way as well. For row four, it's just a repeat of row two. We started with the chain three, then moved on to three double crochet stitches in the next space. And we'll continue with three double crochet in each space across. At the end, we'll just do the one double crochet to match the beginning of this row. Row five is just a repeat of row three. We do the chain three to count as one double crochet. Then we make two more double crochet stitches in the space right next to this chain three for a total of three double crochet at the beginning of this row. After repeating rows 2 and 3 a few times, you can see what the work looks like. Now the only difference between this easy double crochet granny stitch and the fancier diamond one are some color changes. I'd highly recommend accessing the chart on my website which shows where to put the color changes. I'm going to restart my basic granny stitch with just one row of green. You can see in the chart, row 1 just has all green stitches. But for row two, we alternate yellow stitches and green stitches. So we have to remember our basic pattern and at the same time, change colors as needed. In row two's case, I have to make a green chain three, but switch over to the yellow yarn for the double crochet. So I always change colors right before the stitch I need the new color on. In this case, it's on the chain three, which is not exactly easy, 
but we'll hide the yarn strands on the next row. While we work with the yellow yarn, we need to carry the green yarn along. So be sure to crochet the green yarn into the work. Now on our third double crochet, right at the very end, I have to switch the color back to the green yarn. So I drop the yellow yarn and pick up the green yarn. Then I need to carry the yellow yarn along and crochet over it. With the green yarn, I make the next set of three double crochet stitches. And before I finish that third double crochet, I drop the green yarn. And pick up the yellow yarn to finish the stitch. Then I carry the green yarn and continue with making double crochet stitches with the yellow yarn. And as always, on that last stitch, I have to switch back over to the green yarn. You'll continue with this pattern across. At the end, I have to anticipate what the next row's color is. It shows the stitches are all yellow on this row with no color changes. So that means I have to switch over to the yellow yarn before I move on to the next row. And this is a nice row since it's all just yellow yarn. I don't have to carry anything. I can actually cut my green yarn at this time. Now we proceed with the yellow yarn. When doing color changes and carrying of yarn, you want to try and hide the carryovers the best you can. It's important on this row to really go underneath all of those carryover yarns so that it hides them. Make your stitches according to the pattern. You can see on this next space how I really dig around in the yarn to ensure I'm going underneath all of the carryover yarn strands. Then I make my three double crochet stitches. And one more time, if you need to, Pull up your stitches a bit to ensure you are going under all of those yarn strands from the previous row. Continue with the yellow yarn in pattern across the row. As I anticipate my next row, I see that a pink yarn needs to be used and it will show up on the chain three. So I make my color change to pink on the last section of my last stitch. And chain three with the pink yarn, while at the same time, Carrying my yellow yarn, since it looks like this row has an alternating pink and yellow yarn. So I started my first stitch, or a chain three, with pink. But I had to switch to the yellow yarn since the next set of three double crochet stitches are yellow. And I'll carry the unused pink yarn at this time. Then right before I finish my third yellow double crochet, I switch over to the pink yarn. And I'll carry the unused yellow yarn now. Then switch back over to the yellow yarn by dropping the pink yarn while carrying it across. You can see the yellow diamond starting to form. And you can see the next yellow diamond forming too. Alternate the pink and yellow yarn for this row. At the end, since we're finished with the yellow yarn, we can cut the strand. Or if you prefer, you can leave the yarn alone and carry it up along the side of the work as well. This next row is easy, it's just all pink stitches. So we do our pink stitches using the basic granny stitch pattern. 
and ensure you are getting under all of those carried yarn strands. This way your work will look nice and neat on both sides. And continue with the pink yarn across this row. According to the chart, the next row alternates the pink and green yarn. So follow the chart and change colors as needed. And that's pretty much it. You'll find after a few rows you won't even need the chart anymore. But feel free to continue using it to form the little pretty diamonds in your granny stitch crochet pattern. Thanks so much for watching my video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified of new videos from me each week. And if you liked the video you just watched, be sure to check out my next video, which I think you'll like very much.